Hey guys, I'm going to be doing some express individual locks today. Express because I just, I don't want to do the whole locks throughout her head. So what I'm going to do is to um, do some individuals in the front using the technique that I'm going to show you. And then for the back, I'm going to do crochet. But it's still going to look like it's individual locks, meaning she can... Um, she could have multiple parts with this so I'm going to start to part the front where I'm going to do the individuals and um, I'm going to be using hair from Autry which I'm about to show you in just a few moments because this hair was absolutely gorgeous it exceeded my expectation but um yeah so I'm just gonna braid this front part away and um, I'm going to do the cornrows in the back and then we're going to start to do the front and install the locks Alright guys, so this is the hair we're using today and this is from Ultra Hair Twisted Up Hawaiian Clover Locks in 24 inches and the color that I have is color 1B although it comes in different colors. It has color 2, 4, color 1, 2T, 1B, 27 and so much more. And um, these remind me of like the goddess lock and I like the way the pattern of the lock is made. It looks like it's handmade. I don't know if you can tell but it has like a little bit of distress nest to it. <laughs> distress nest, whatever that means. But it has like a touch of distress look. And I like that it has beautiful curls on the ends. And it's not heavy at all. Like I can just put my fingers through it and it's not like heavy. So I like that they are also lightweight and flexible. You can bend it. You can, I don't know, you can move it. So yeah, that's what we're going to be installing today. Just gonna let you guys watch and see how I install these locks.
so I'm going to use springy bohemian twist also from ultra hair um, I've used this hair before and I just have some left over so I'm going to use this to wrap up the hair so this texture is like a springy texture it's very very soft and it's like 30 inches you can use this hair um, for different styles um, as well so this is this hair is good for locks because of the texture so I just cut it in half and I'm going to take just small pieces and I'm just going to crochet it into the the hair into the lock and then just like wrap around the lock so you don't have to wrap wrap it perfectly it's not supposed to be like super neat and perfect um, just throw the hair all like just throw the hair over it and um, the way the Hawaiian locks is designed is going to naturally start to look like uneven and distressed like this and you just make a knot and that's it
this is the finished look I have turned my Nigerian sister-in-law into a Hawaiian lady okay she was really feeling herself and feeling those parts <laughs> but yes guys make sure you check out this hair from old tray and um, I'm going to leave the link in the description so before I end this video I'm going to make sure I do a half up half down because if I don't this video is not complete <laughs>